what, Mr. Statue? I don't care if you have a keyhole. You are not better than the other statues. Just because you have a keyhole in your brick thingy below your body doesn't mean you're better than your friends. This is a life lesson, kids. Just because you have a keyhole on you doesn't make you better than your friends. Hello and welcome to Lonk's Awakening. In this episode, we're going to take out level 1, the Tail Cave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, you know, welcome to the first level of the game. Mondo, mondo, easy. Uh, we're gonna be, like, in and out of here, so... Oh my god, that was a horrible, horrible noise. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Game Boy sound effects. Um, this is a very, very easy dungeon, because not only is it the first dungeon, um, this game just isn't as big content-wise. Now, I mentioned this complaint in the, the first episode, I think, um, but the, the items kind of go on for a while when they're telling you what they are, especially the compass, because the, you know, the compass is like, this will tell you if you're, there's treasure, and then they're like, it has a new feature, because they added the feature where if you go into a room, uh, it kind of does like the bleep, the bleep, if there's, you know, something going on, that, that sound. Like, you know, I refer to it as the puzzle noise, lovingly. Um, but, you know, they, they have to tell you, like, every time, it's like, it's a new feature. It's like, and it's like the eighth time you've gotten the damn thing. I know that there's a new feature in the thing. You don't have to tell me. Um, there's two ways to go here. They both take you the same way. Uh, this room's not all that important. I don't think there's, actually, there might be money in the room, so I'll go ahead and kill the keys. Um, because, you know, I like me to get some money, so let's go ahead and see. Is there anything in here? Nope. Um, going up will take you to the, uh kind of like the main hall of the of the dungeon. Uh, but you actually want to come this way, because I believe that there are small keys to be got. And where there are small keys to be got, I would like to get. Um, and also, you know, it gives us a chance to kill some more enemies. Uh, even if they're just, you know, weak little, um, Stalfos. Oh, no, he jumped in a hole. The jerk, jerk. Uh, but we did get the dungeon map from it. And at last, I mean, we've been in here for two minutes. Yeah. Woo, at last. I've been, you know, I've been, been worrying. Where, where are we ever going to get that damn thing? Um, and I, I'm glad that they started us on, on jumping Stalfos, uh, rather than, you know, giving us the standard Stalfos, uh, that they normally get. Uh, this game doesn't have as many enemies, um, variation-wise as, as, uh, well, I guess it does, um, as, um, you know, uh, the Oracle series, because in the Oracle series you had, like, all the standard enemies, and you had, like, different colors that were different strengths and had different things, like, you know, there were the jumping, uh, the jumping Stalfos, and there's Stalfos that, like, throw bones at you. Um, I don't, I think there's only, like, you know, those two variants. Even the jumping ones just might throw bones at you. I don't know. Um, oh, I remember this puzzle. This puzzle always sticks out in my head, because they give you a convenient block right there just to protect you from that, uh, that blade trap, which is really nice of them. So we'll just go ahead and march on past these sparks, and they put little gels in our way to, you know, slow us down, because if they grab you, they kind of, like, you know, make you slower, and you can't use your sword, so I guess that's their way of, like, letting the sparks get to you. Uh, but, you know, we're, we're not going to fall for their stuff. But we got a Guardian Acorn, which is great, because uh, Guardian Acorns and Pieces of Power and uh, Dungeons can last you forever. Because I'm not sure if they're tied to how much damage you take. Um, I think that Piece of Power is, so the Guardian Acorn might be as well. Or if it's on a timer, I think it is tied to how much damage you take. Um, but, you know, they can just last you forever if you just don't get hit. And look, it's good old Goombas, and uh, they actually managed to hit us, the jerks. Um, a fun thing about Goombas is, you know, if you jump on them, they'll, they're guaranteed to give you a heart every time. So it's kind of nice if you're low on hearts, so you just, you know, get the drop on them and fall on them. So, uh, just, just keep that in mind if you're low on hearts. And speaking of hearts, um, here's a neat little refill system in the game, and that shadow is freaking out on Long's face. Um, this game has a refill system where they have, like, little items with wings... Uh, that you just jump up to pluck out of the sky, and you get a refill. I don't know why those aren't in any other Zelda games, because they're really neat. And we've gotten the Rock's Feather, which you might remember from, uh, from the Oracle games, which it was blue in the Oracle games, but it's brown here, which I'm guessing is just kind of lazy coloring uh, from the, from the uh, you know, the, the black and white, um, or uh, green and black, uh, whatever, you, whatever you, you'd like to refer to it as. Um, so, you know, I guess they just added blue to it whenever they made the oracles, because they were like, this needs some pizzazz. Because, you know, bluebirds are, bluebirds are really pretty, you know, just pretty little birds. And I know you're looking at that crack in the wall and going like, man, I want to bomb that and get in there. Uh, we're not going to have bombs for a while. Uh, that's actually a thing that we're going to need to come back for. I know, we're going to need to come back to a dungeon. It's like insanity, like, wow. Um, but yeah, we'll have to come back later to, uh, get whatever delicious, tasty item is hidden back there, and you're actually not gonna give us anything. I can feel it in my bones, and, um, also there was no bleepity bleeps telling us that there was a puzzle. And, oh, thank you, Compass, for telling me that there was treasure in this room. The treasure being the boss key, cause, uh, or the nightmare key, excuse me. Um, 
uh, because, you know, we're, we're actually very, very near the end of the dungeon. This, is, this dungeon's not big in the slightest, like I said, uh, due to content-wise in this game, and, you know, it's the first dungeon, so, you know, whatevs. Um, you might have noticed that the dungeon key looks different than my what it looks like in the sidebar. Um, that's because I actually uh, kind of made a, a combination of its sprite and the, its, um, the Oracle version of its sprite. Uh, because I always thought its sprite in this game kind of looked like garbage. Like, that's just always been my opinion. I'm not sure, you know, how many of you agree with me. And, uh, oh, the piece of power doesn't affect these guys. These guys are called three of a kind. You kill them by getting all of their symbols to match up. Which, as you can guess, is something that I am bad at because it requires patience and timing. Now, the best idea I can think of is to hit two of them, uh, where they, they'll have the same, um, oh, we actually did that fairly quick. Uh, hit two of them so they have the same symbol, and then leave one of them alone, and then hit the one, and then try and get the two to match up. Like, that probably didn't make any fucking sense. Uh, this is a stone beak. This item kind of replaces the, uh, the, uh, the owl statues that you would throw mystery seeds in on, uh, in, uh, the Oracle games, in which you just find these owl statues, and once you have the beak, you can make them talk to you. Uh, so that's how you get hints in dungeons. Oh, darn. Oh, well, you actually managed to avoid getting hit. That was nice. Uh, so if you need any help, uh, that's how you get it. And, uh, here's the mini-boss, Rolling Bones. Um, and oh man, he actually managed to hurt us. That's uh, actually good because the mini bosses in this game are a joke. The bosses in this game, actually, you know, normal bosses as well as mini bosses, are a joke. Um, but you know, there, there, that's 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 how the cookie crumbles, I guess. Um, and I'm glad we're able to go into this boss with um, full hearts, you stupid blade trap, because uh, we're not going to die. Buzz, buzz, outsider. So here we have a big mall drum. Um, I didn't show you what that uh, the staircase did. Uh, but what he's going to try and do is he's going to try and knock you into this pit, and it's kind of just a useless area uh, to reset the fight, because he's not a hard boss at all, so they kind of pad up his difficulty just a tad uh, by making him, you know, knock you into the pit. Uh, you can either protect yourself with your shield uh, to stop him from hitting you, or you can use your um, your feather if you like to do it uh, the way that I do, and oh, that was actually a good move on your part, because uh, he's going to kill us if he hits us, and I will refuse to die to you, sir. I will actually take the hit and fall into a pit before I... I, I get hit by you, um, and I'm actually going to run and go grab some hearts, because he uh, he actually does one heart of damage, and like I said, we're not going to die at all in this uh, playthrough, so I'm going to go grab some hearts, and I'll meet back up with you here. So I was able to actually find a guardian acorn before I found two pieces of heart, like that's weird. Um, I, even though I had to run away to go grab heart pieces, I still stand by that this boss isn't hard at all. In fact, we can probably just stand here, and now I think about it, just whack like crazy, um, and he won't be able to push us back, and there, he's dead, he's that easy. Um, I actually don't know why I didn't think about that before, because that's, that's such a simple strategy. Because, um, you know, Maldrum bosses are always easy, just like the one in uh, Link to the Past. So here's our first instrument. Yay, we get a delicious item, which actually it's not delicious, because we're not going to put a, a cello in our mouth, because it's the full moon cello. Now it's going to play us a song. Um, the song being the Ballad of the Windfish. Uh, you're going to hear the song a lot in-game. Because this is kind of like the theme for the game. Because, you know, we're trying to wake the windfish, so we have the Ballad of the Windfish. There's a lot of actually, um... It's a lot of fan favorite, uh, well, fans' favorite song, um, you know, from this game, because it's kind of like the big song. He, uh, the little text box there told us to go to the, the uh, swamp, so we're going to go ahead that way. Oh, look, it's Mr. Owl. Hoot! That's an instrument of the sirens. I have to admit, at first, I did not believe you were real. That instrument, along with the seven others in the set, has the power to wake the woodfish. You must collect them all. I was instructed to give you the you directions. Your next goal is north in Gopanga Swamp. Hoot indeed! And now he's gonna fly off. Oh, you, you little Shakespearean owl, you! I love you, even though I I dislike I dislike the owl from um from um you know uh, Ocarina of Time. Yeah, that game. You know that forgettable game. Uh, oh, and look, these kids. What's what's up with you guys? Hey, buddy, it's serious. Yeah, really serious. Yeah, it is. The moblins came to the village. Yeah, that's right. A whole gang of moblins. Then it's far real. It's far, far real, for real. They all went to the house. Yeah, that house. And then they did something at Bow Wow's house. It was really bad scene with the mo moblins. So I mean, ah. So you know, Link. Or, or not Link, excuse me, I don't know who the fuck Link is. Lonk's gonna go ahead and just go figure out what's going on by himself, because those, those kids are useless. Ah, oh, Bow Wow's missing! Bow Wow the Chain Chomp! Oh, what's up, Miss... Uh, are you Madam Meow Meow? I think you are. Um, but her, um, her Bow Wow was kidnapped by Moblin... Or, dognapped by Moblins. Uh, excuse me, sorry. Uh, so we're gonna have to go, you know, save its life. So we're actually going to go make our way out to Kapahunga Swamp since, you know, we have a little bit of extra time from that dungeon since it only took, you know, uh, nine or so minutes. I don't know how long it took me to find uh, heart pieces, uh, or even how long it took me to start the recording. 
because um, I kind of have to, you know, do a little bit of, of sync in action before we can, you know, start a start a recording to make sure, you know, everything's, you know, set up. But, you know, technical technical stuff isn't fun. Uh, so we're going to go find the Punga Swamp, because we can actually get around a lot more easier now that we can jump. Uh, so, you know, this forest is kind of our bitch. Well, it's not our bitch yet. It'll be our bitch once we have, you know, a power bracelet. We can pick up these stupid rocks that are in our way. So, um, you know, at the very least, we have a, a um, you know, a piece of power, so we can just knock these guys out of our way. And I love the way they fly back. I know it's a simple effect, but I just love the crap out of it, so give me a heart piece, um, because, you know, that's right there for us. And uh, if you were to go up, you would actually get to uh, Gapanga Swamp, so, but we're actually going to take a little detour, uh, because if I'm correct, we can actually get a piece of heart that we're not supposed to get. Yeah, I know, um, you know, sequence breaking, that's insanity. I believe one of these, um, these graves, uh, graves, I almost said grave tombs, uh, gravestones, uh, has a hidden, uh, um, chica chica, a staircase you can take. On the, uh, I believe the zombies are endless, because those are actually zombies. For the longest time, I thought they were moles. I mean, even though it's obvious that they're supposed to be zombies. Uh, and the, uh, the guineas will come endlessly until you kill the original one. Uh, I'm so sure it's on the screen. Uh, I just have to remember which one. There we go. Because if you come down there, there's a piece of heart. Now, I don't think you're supposed to get it until you get bombs in another item. But I know it's possible to make the jump if you push this, I believe. Yeah, there we go. Because you're supposed to be push that the other way to be able to get out. But you can kind of just trick it out to grab that. I'm not sure if that's how you're supposed to do it. Um, but, you know, an earlier, uh, you know, heart container that we can complete, the better. Because now we have five hearts. So we can, we can just kind of, you know, rock, rattle, and roll our way out of here. And uh, I'm pretty sure that's a Pokemon anime pun. Even though I, I haven't seen much of the Pokemon anime. You know, I've only seen what... You know, a little kid would have seen, uh, since, you know, I, the, the show didn't hold my attention past Johto. Um, but I'm so sure Rock, the Rock Rattle and Roll is a, a, a thing that people say. It's more than, than just that, that, that game's pun. Um, this is actually the Moblin's base, but before we walk in here, we're gonna just travel a little bit more to the right, because if we come over here, we can find the camera shop. Uh, this was added in Link's Awakening DX to kind of, um, add in the feature of, uh, the Game Boy camera. Uh, so there's a few, uh, photos we can actually collect in the game if we talk to the photographer guy. I just love to take pictures! Will you let me take your picture? No, I'm, I'm okay. Let's take a picture! No, that's, that's fine. I don't, I don't want to take a picture. No! I will not let you take my picture, Mr. Pink Mouse! No pictures today! You, no, you are not getting my picture. Yes, I'm pulling your leg, no, wait, wait, no, pulling your leg means I'm playing with you. No, I'm not gonna, oh, he's gonna gonna take our picture anyways and it's called game over although it doesn't really end your game uh there are two choices of pictures you can get um there are 12 pictures you can get throughout the game um but the first one you get is uh you have a choice if you just say yes at any time you'll kind of take a picture where links like you know given like the peace thing uh but if you uh if you continue to say no you'll get that game over one it doesn't really end your game uh you can come here and check out your photos at any time so it's just like a little you know like achievement thing and oh lock Oh, lock. So we'll come back here uh, once we've collected all of them so I can show you all the delicious, delicious... And why are things delicious? I'm not going to eat any of this. Jeez. Um, I, I promise I'm not going to eat any of the things in this game. I promise. Um, ugh, who's this suspicious looking around? Okay, yeah, you're a moblin. We're going to go ahead and kill you. Uh, so here's the moblin base. So we're going to go ahead and save Bow Wow from these guys. Uh, there's a nice little moblin cave thing which might have actually been playing in the village whenever we were looking for uh, you know, the guys. And unfortunately, they can't do much to us because, you know, we're... We're pretty good at being a hero. I mean, we've saved both Holodrum and Labrinia, but here's their boss, uh, the boss moblin, I think. You must be an assassin sent by Madame Meow Meow to rescue the mutt. You came here to get me, but it is I who will get you! So here we have the, the boss, um, the, um, the, uh, boss moblin, I think his name is. Uh, you just want him to shoot arrows at you and then to, just to nonchalantly get the fuck out of the way whenever he runs into the wall and then just beat the crap out of him. Um, you could probably do this with a piece of power. Actually, you'd have to get lucky and hope one of those moblins would drop a piece of power. But it's not that hard at all. Just, you know, get out of the way whenever he shoots an arrow at you. And then he'll rush at the wall. And then you can just beat the crap out of him. Not a hard mini-boss at all. Um, although, you know, like I said, um, none of the bosses or mini-bosses in this game are particularly hard. Um, and there we go. We beat him. So, the, the, the jig is up, Mr. Boss Moblin. Because we really were an assassin sent by Madame Meow Meow to save... Bow Wow. So we've saved him, and now we can, uh, you know, walk him back to his home. Uh, but rather than walking him back to his home uh, immediately, uh, we're going to use him to get access to the next dungeon. That's right, the next dungeon doesn't require a key or anything. It just requires the assistance of a friendly creature? Um, he will eat these, uh, he'll eat enemies that are on screen, which is kind of nice. Uh, 
and we're going to need him to eat certain things that are, are blocking our path currently to the next dungeon. I think even if you were to take him back to Madam Meow Meow, Madam Meow Meow says like, oh, why don't you take him for a walk for me, because blah blah blah, I'm lazy. And I'm not so sure about that, but I'm sure she says, she says something along those lines, because I am so sure you needed him to get into the next dungeon. Um, so even if you do have the option to, uh, you know, take him back, don't even, don't even think about it, bro, because it's, it's not a good idea. You need, you need this little chain chomp buddy to take you away. Um, and let's get that like like out of the way, because I am not a fan of you, Mr. Like like. Like I may like, I may like you. Like you're an neat enemy. I, I I will give you that. But you know, I just need you out of my way. And will you please eat that, Mr. Bow Wow? Um, these these uh flowers. I think they're called Gaponga flowers. Um, I believe you can't get, they you can't kill them yet. You, 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 um, I'm sorry about the stuttering. Uh, you need items that we don't have just yet. Uh, so the only way to kill them is to get uh, Bow Wow to eat them. And actually. I'm gonna come over here because I think there's a treasure chest we can get uh, with Bow Wow that has some money in it. Um, so I'm sorry for wasting your guys' times, but I want I want that money because money's nice and uh, it's a good thing that those the flowers stay gone because um, you know it's kind of a pain in the ass because Bow Wow has to decide that he wants to eat them. And uh, 50 rubies that's that's a nice profit. Um, so after this next dungeon, we should be able to afford the first big purchase of the game, which will be nice. Um, so in the next episode, we're gonna go ahead and walk into here and I guess. Uh, Bow Wow, I, and Lonk, or, or Bow Wow, Lonk, and I, excuse me, I, I don't know how to English, uh, we're all gonna sit here and jam out to the Guardian Acorn theme once again. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.